YouTubers, Doom 143, and uh, still a little under the weather, and I'm sure you guys are getting a little sick of seeing me popping up videos every day, but I had to do this crazy toy expo haul that uh, I just went to here in Hawaii, and um, I wanted to give an update to my 250 subscriber contest because it'll end tomorrow. I just was going to go through the names of the people that actually already participated. All right. Um, this is going to be a long video. It's going to be a long one, all right? So um, I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can, but I'll be honest, it might be a little long. So you might want to grab a beer, grab some Coke, or not some Coke, but like a Coke. <laughs> Don't grab some Coke. Grab a Coke, grab some water. Um, I don't know, whatever. Grab whatever it is you like to grab and relax and chill to because, um, you know, it's going to be a long one. And um, so, yeah, I'll give you guys some time. So go ahead and uh, go do whatever you guys got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's funny, right? Okay, uh, so yeah, we're back. Okay, check this out, guys. Uh, I'm going to give an update for my 250 subscriber at the very end of this, but boy, did I pick up a major, major book for myself, a huge win for myself. Let me tell you this. I'm not going to lie, but it's. Uh, I'll tell you at the end how it worked. I picked up this picture. Uh, that was actually done for me by Andy Lee, who's a huge friend of uh, David Mack. They both are experts to me in with watercoloring. Picked this up. I picked the exclusive Kamikaze Colossus. I picked up all of these books here. And all of these books here. And one of them being a crazy key. Ready for this? 150 bucks, $150, and um, yeah, stay to the end because if you are a core, if you're a comic collector, a comic spectator, somebody that's just really into comics or even uh, movies and stuff like that, I, I picked something up and um, I'm super, super, super stoked about it. Let's talk about this real quick. Kamikaze exclusive Colossus. I picked it up because of the chromium painting that was done on it. I loved it. I love Colossus. Colossus was always my favorite X-Men. I don't know why. Um, I, I, I could have chose anybody. I could have chose somebody cool like Wolverine or even, geez, even Cyclops or uh, I don't know. I always liked what I liked, I guess. And I always liked Colossus for whatever reason. <coughs> so yeah. This one was done by Andy Lee. He did this for me um, as, a, as a personal sketch. It only cost me 20 bucks and um, the frame I got as well. <coughs> and um, yeah, I wanted a Batman just, just, the, just what is this, a headshot or whatever. Um, I'll go a little bit up. You can see a little bit of his cape. He does a lot of the bats on the side with the, the moon and stuff. And... Uh, yeah, so I wanted it done. He gave it. He did this for me. I was super stoked. Not really too happy about this area here, but other than that, and I guess the mouth's a little funny. But this is 100% done by him. All watercolor. Um, it's. I'm super stoked to have this. He actually did another art piece for me, and uh, he's such a great artist. So this is Andy Lee. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Can't believe it. All right, let's get into what you guys probably came here for, which is the comics. Um, so yeah, let's let's just kind of dive into this. Um, so basically, every comic I'm going to show you, just over two dollars. Okay, so some was cheaper, some was higher, but basically, when you average it out, all of the comics I got for just a, over two dollars. Now, mind you, this costed me twenty. This costed me twenty. So that's forty dollars right there so you know we got about another hundred and ten dollars left but yeah picked up some crazy crazy stuff all right so um new mutants annual number six um the reason i picked this one up is there is let me fix that so there is a first appearance of x-force and like a cable cameo in this thing and it's just a pinup it's not the first appearance of x-force it's just like a pinup in the back, and I'll show you guys really quick. Um, I actually picked up one, two, 
three copies of this bad boy. Like I said, all for just, um, like I said, the average of the comics was just over two bucks. Check this cable out. <laughs> Uh, so this is the first cameo. It's kind of like a cameo of Cable. It's a pinup. And then this is the uh, X-Force team that um, is going to be happening. Uh, so you guys know that there's a possible... Um, they were going to do Deadpool 1, which they did. They are going to do Deadpool 2 with Cable. And then supposedly Deadpool 3 is supposed to introduce the X-Force or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but um, so that's basically why I picked these up. I mean, you know, may probably flip them later for like three dollars. <laughs> but yeah, I picked up three of them. Um, pretty cool. Just was happy to have it. But if you do want to get the first X Force, that would be New Mutants 100. So just, just FYI. All right, first appearance of Anarchy. Again, all of these books just over two dollars. First appearance of Anarchy, uh, Detective Comics 608. I picked up two of them. I found two of them, so I picked both of them up. Glad to have them. Um, you know, it is what it is. I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with the guy. I, I don't know, but I'm just saying, FYI, two copies and uh, pretty sick. Pretty glad to have them, especially at that price and stuff. Um, what else did I pick up? So the rest of them are just pretty much like covers and stuff like that. So I got Venom number 13.2, had X23 on top, so I figured, you know what, I'll pick it up. Glad to have it. Beautiful cover. Don't know who did the uh, cover on this. Uh, I picked this up a while ago for like, I don't know, five bucks, and now I found it again for like under $2. Uh, Spider-Man number nine, part of the Marvel Knights series, part one of The Last Stand. With the whole Venom thing, everybody's, there's a huge hype on Venom right now. So this is one of the books that I just decided to pick up and stuff like that. Um, yeah, nothing really. Just, it is what it is. Um, Superman number 676. I picked this up just because I love the Alex Ross cover. I love Alex Ross. He does such a great, great work. Um, the realism that he puts into his... Um, I don't know if it's painting or drawing or what it is, um, but Alex Ross always does a great job. Picked it up. Love having this. So Superman 676, Alex Ross cover. Uh, Sex Criminals number 11. Uh, I just picked this up because, one, I read Sex Criminals. I think it's such a great book. It's um, it's very interesting. It's supposed to be picked up, I think, by Showtime or possibly Netflix. But this is the quote on... Let me see. I need this. Quote on quote um, blank variant where you can kind of just draw, have an artist draw whatever you want in it. I don't know. Maybe next con or something. I might bring this to somebody just so they can draw, like, <laughs> maybe Spider-Man and Deadpool or something. I don't know. I just think it's freaking hilarious. Uh, Batman 619 the reason I picked this up because supposedly I think I could be wrong so let me know uh, the first uh, variant that Harley Quinn was ever on I actually picked this up just not too long ago and then now I found myself another copy so Batman 619 variant uh, possibly the first variant that Harley Quinn was on so yeah do what you want with that information right there uh, Alex the comic Order was showing some Matina books so basically I I think that's pretty much why I picked up these next bunch of books. Um, Thunderbolts 127, the one you want to own definitely is the Jock variant. Uh, my boys, Freddy's 562, hooked me up with that, so I actually have one of those. But yeah, Thunderbolts 127. Um, Matina just kills it. He does really, really great stuff. This is Thunderbolts 134. And Spider Man 2099, number five. Just beautiful Matina covers. Um, like I said, he just does really great stuff. I love his artwork and um, I'll probably continue to pick his stuff up. Uh, me and my boy, um, Freddie, we were talking about like, who do you think the next Adam Hughes is and stuff like that? Why doesn't Matina get it, you know, the props that he deserves? And, uh, you know, we're always trying to find like what's the next possible artist might be and stuff. We, we feel Matina is definitely underrated. And so I'm picking him up. And stuff like that. Speaking of uh, artists that I really, really dig, um, can't go wrong with Addy Granoff. Love his stuff. I uh, found this one. Like I said, I found all these books, all these books for just over two bucks, and I'm still not done. I still got, um, still got a bunch more. 
And uh, yeah, like I said, at the end, <laughs> super slick to have it. Can't say enough. Um, I probably gave it away with the thumbnail, but oh well, whatever. Um, X Men Legacy 232 Andy Granoff. Super stoked to find this because this can run you up to about 20 bucks. Uh, this is a Bill Sinkovich. Um, let me see if you can get that. This is the uh, Last Crusade um, Bill Sinkovich variant. Just super stoked to have this. I actually wanted to grab this a while ago and I just. I don't know why I just didn't want to pay 20 it's a very dark cover um, let me see if I can kind of get in on that but I wanted to pick it up and um, yeah and I picked it up at a really great price just just on over two bucks so super stoked to have this love my Bill Sinkovich stuff man this is definitely a keeper okay fantastic for number nine 1997 you guys know what this is a lot of people do not and neither do I I have no idea why I picked this up it's like a dollar comic I have no idea why I picked it up <laughs> Doom Patrol um, when this comic first came out I really wanted to grab it and I couldn't find it all the stores are sold out so supposedly you pull off this burrito here and there's like a picture of like a galaxy or something like that I'm not gonna peel it off but um, so Doom Patrol number one wanted to pick this up speaking of Doom Patrol couldn't believe I found this for the price like I said the prices that I found so this is do um, this is showcase number 94 so this is the first appearance of the new Doom Patrol uh, maybe the death of the old Doom Patrol first appearance of Robot Man or whatever it is but wanted to pick this up it's a pretty good condition I think there's like about five spine ticks other than that or there's like a little thing up here other than that pretty sick um, this excited me that I could be in a Superman movie, so I might have to look into that and try to see how I can enter that. <laughs> but yeah, Doom Patrol, um, love it. I still, you know, this this Bronze Age stuff still gets me. Like no matter how cool these variants are or how good Andy Granoff and Matina and Hughes could be, I still always gravitate towards this Bronze Age stuff. So super stoked to have this one. Um, found a Shadow Man number one first appearance and origin story of Shadow Man um, you can still find these in your dollar bins but they can go as high as like 10 bucks depending on the day and who buys it and all that stuff maybe five ten bucks but first appearance and origin of Shadow Man pick this one up there was a bunch of Shadow Man number eights and I have no idea why I didn't pick that up uh, but yeah there you go pick this one up uh, it's, that's pretty much that that could be a good flip to be honest uh, my son is a huge Teen Titans fan I already have this one but I decided to pick it up just because of the price Cyborg's coming out with a movie and I uh, figured this would be you know if I can pick these up on the cheap I'm gonna pick them up as much as I can there's probably a huge bunch of runs on it but George Perez art can't go wrong with that Cyborg number one this is uh, his origin story and stuff like that Actually, my son has all of them. Let me see if I can scan up real quick. There you go. So he has um, Starfire, he has Raven, Beast Boy, and Cyborg. So he has all of the origin stories, and that's pretty much his stuff, so I don't try not to touch it. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, Superman American Alien, uh, number one. Great story. Um, you know, I've heard nothing about great things about this story. So uh, I'm going to try to find all seven of them and see if I can complete it and definitely, um, you know, try to take a read at it. But I definitely, I found number one at a super good price. Like I said, most of these books, dollar, two dollars, maybe a little over than two dollars, kind of the average price. But pick this one up. Can't wait to find the rest of the other six. Found this one just over two bucks. Couldn't believe that. Web of Spider-Man, uh, number one variant. It's a zombie variant. It's pretty gruesome. <laughs> but yeah, super sick uh, cover. I know Dr. Von Chiller would love this. And uh, But yeah, it's it's actually a micro variant. So pretty sick. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. Uh, man, I still got this freaking code. It's going around. All right. Getting to the last bit. Uh, getting to the good stuff. All right. Annihilation Silver Surfer number one. Um, the lotto cover 
um, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I had to pick it up, especially for the price. It was like, I think they were asking for like a dollar for it. So I definitely had to pick it up. Love my Delato stuff. Love this cover. Number one, Annihilation Silver Surfer. Definitely had to pick this up. And Ghost Rider number 20. Uh, what is it? The Jurdovic? The Jurdovic cover. Um, I don't know, man. Like, if you're not paying attention, you could definitely get Delato and the Jurdovic definitely mixed up i get them mixed up all the time if i don't know um you know if i don't know what to look for and stuff like that but um yeah so i got this one again for like less than a dollar super sick cover like look at that tire it's just ah look at that that's sick 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 love these covers man love these covers all right um let me see let's get to the good stuff so yeah, I'm still, again, again, whatever I show you, just on the average, about just over two bucks a comic. So uh, here we go. Now we're getting to the goody goodies, I would say. Um, let's start small. Adam Hughes, Betty and Veronica, number one. I just bought number two, where um, they were making like that little heart thing with their hand. And so I said, I wouldn't start reading it unless I find number one. And there you go, Adam Hughes, number one. <laughs> Two bucks. Couldn't believe it. Uh, more Adam Hughes goodness. Wonder Woman 188. All black cover, so you know you gotta watch out for the spine ticks. But I think there's like two. Only two little small spine ticks on the side. Wonder Woman 188. Love this cover. Simplicity at its best. Definitely simplicity at its best. Adam Hughes kills it again. Zatanna number 11 a beautiful Adam Hughes cover again less than two bucks found this super stoked to have found this super stoked to have found all these Adam Hughes covers for less than two bucks Vampirella pinup special it's kind of interesting if you look on the inside it's just a bunch of bathing suit pictures and stuff but again loving this cover another great Adam Hughes cover Super, super stoked to have found this. Again, for the price, can't really go wrong. I found another Catwoman, number 56. Great Adam Hughes cover. I didn't find the ones I was looking for. I didn't find the 51 or the 73 Catwoman, but I couldn't believe I found this for just over two bucks. Bam. Wonder Woman 184. Couldn't believe it. Stoked to have it. Uh, of course, this one didn't cost two bucks. This cost a little bit more, but like I said, it didn't cost that much more. And the average of all of those comics averaged out for about two bucks. All right, now to the two big ones and the grand finale. So let's start with this one. I found a Justice League number 40. First appearance of Grail, Darkseid's daughter. They didn't have the 1 in 25 variant. Couldn't get stealthy on that one. But still glad to have this one. Like I said, just over 2 bucks. Average, all the comics. Super, super, super stoked to have this in my collection. Uh, I don't think it's a long-term thing. So, it, you know, I'm definitely just going to hold this and see what's going to happen. But um, super glad to have this. All right. This is a big one. This is the big one. <laughs> um, and I'll explain how did I get this little bad boy and all those comics for just, yeah, actually 150 bucks. All right. So I kind of, not, I, well, I kind of lied, I guess, a little bit. I actually had to do, I traded in four books, um, four books that I, I showed him that I knew that he could sell really quick. And um, they weren't like all like two, three hundred dollar books. They were just, you know, basically books that I knew that he could flip really quickly. And so I showed him like basically like five, six books. And then he just took four and then I uh, gave him a little bit of cash. But yeah, NYX number three. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm super stoked to have this. I'm, this is definitely going to go in my hallway um so I, I guess the, the the talk is that the girl that's in the uh, next wolverine movie she got a five movie deal supposedly that's going to be x23 supposedly uh, somebody knew that there is a um 
that I guess in the uh, Wolverine movie that somebody ordered like a small Wolverine costume. I mean, if it comes to fruition where the girl in the uh, Old Man Logan uh, or Logan uh, movie is X-23, which I'm pretty sure it is, then uh, this book is already expensive. But if it, that comes true, this book is going to go even higher. And there is at most, at most, maybe three little very small spine ticks. Other than that, this has to be a nine, little over than a nine. And all it took me was four books that I really didn't, I mean, I liked them, but I was willing to part with them to get this and uh, just a little bit of cash. So I got all of that, all of that, all of this, all of those books right here and the NYX3 and the pop and the Batman, gotta be careful with this baby, and the Batman commission all for 150 bucks. I think I did pretty, pretty damn well, if I say so well myself. If I say so myself. All right, so let's do this 250 subscriber uh, contest update. These are the peoples I have. So really quickly, I had a bunch of people that you had to sub to, and that's all you have to do. You just have to go on the link, just sub to them. Again, I will leave the links to all of them. All you gotta do is sub to all of them, and just let me know that you sub to them. And then that's it. And then you will be entered into winning two, uh, one of two. You know what? Let me go grab them. I'll be right back. All right. Um, okay. So, like I said, um, all you got to do is sub to the guys um, that I put. They're either under 100, just under 100. Um, so, you know, please sub to them. And then I'm going to put everybody's name in a pot. And I'm literally going to put it in a pot. <laughs> I'm going to cut you guys' names out. And I'm going to put it in a pot. I'll probably have my son uh, pull the name. But um, yeah, so here you go. You can either win the uh, 9.4 um, Art Germ, um, CGC 9.4 9.4 Art Germ, uh, Batman Rebirth number one. Or you will win the Wonder Woman Rebirth. So there's two winners, 9.4 Art Germ. Um, Wonder Woman number one. So you could possibly win one of those. So the first place winner, um, the person that we pull first will get to choose between the two and the second place will get the uh, other the other CGC. Um, like I said, international, you're more than welcome to join. You just gotta help me out with shipping just half. And I think it's totally worth it. Um, if the shipping comes out pretty cheap, I probably will waive that too. But that's all you gotta do. You just gotta sub to them. All right, guys, thank you for sticking it out. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was a pretty cool day for me. Very excited. I'm pretty much getting over my cold. So um, I will also later on during the week, like I said before, I'm gonna do a uh, 200 subscriber, the Doom D's, Freddy's 562, and the Doom 143. We're gonna do an update. Um, of the um, of our contest oh and then we're gonna release all the books I'm sorry real quickly these are the names that I have for the 250 subscriber contest that's going on right now where I said all you gotta do is uh, sub to these people that ends tomorrow night okay so um, these are the people I have so if I miss you just let me know so I got Davis comic finds I got popcom contender Christian Collins four-way flasher comics Alex the Comic Hoarder, 64 page special, Louis Joel, Gibitalicus, Seeking Near Mint Comics, Master X Splinter, uh, Dresser's Comics, Daydream's Nightmare, Daniel Garvey, Daniel Garvey, yeah, Justin Byers, OMG Chris, Collectors Having Fun, uh, Tat Comics, Inside UFO, L Comic Box, Comic Brains, ADI Samurai, and Dr. Von Chilla. So just let me know if I missed your name. Um, you can just leave a comment and stuff. And, um, you know, just tell me, hey, Steve, um, that you sub to all of those guys. Did I tell you I got an NYX? <laughs> Yee! All right, guys. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much about it. Thank you for sticking it out. I know it's a long one. Shoots and mahalos.